So in this question, we have aspirin, which many are familiar with, has been primarily used for the relief of minor pains, aches, fever reduction, and several other applications. The chemical reaction for the synthesis of aspirin can be defined as the following. So I will highlight this for myself. So whenever we run into a chemical reaction problem, the chemical reaction itself is going to be needed as one of the givens to guide us along in order to solve it. So next they ask what mass of C2H4O2 is generated from 12.5 moles of C7H6O3. So they're asking me to find the mass of this particular molecule and they give me 12.5 moles of these. Now they also give me the molar mass of C2H4O2 and that is in the next line and that's approximately 60 grams per mole. So we're supposed to keep our answer to the one so we'll do that rounding at the end. All right so I am solving for mass and let's now write all the givens. So here, I will write down my givens. Whenever you are dealing with a chemical reaction problem, I like to write as my first given the chemical reaction itself. So that's going to be my first given here. So C7H6O3 and so on. So all I'm doing right now is just copying the actual reaction, which I will need. Now, next, the other givens, I will go through well, basically all the numbers that they give me. So they give me 12.5 moles. And with chemical reactions, when they do give you a particular measurement or number of some kind, I do like to put a subscript on the actual unit. So here I will put C7H6O3 because it just tells me that it, that's the moles of that particular molecule or mole in this case. So next, okay, what else they give me is they tell me that I have 60 grams per mole of this C2H4O2. Now, the way that this is written, so they have written it as 60 grams, okay, so per mole in this way. And this basically means, and I like to write it in the following way, so I have 60 grams and it belongs to C2H4O2. And instead of putting it over a mole, I say this equals to one mole of C2H4O2. So that's the way that I like to transition this into my given. Now, it's up to you how you write it, but you'll see the way that I'm going to be using it in order to solve this question. This actually helps me a little bit more. So those are my givens. So I have three sets of givens. Now I'm going to write what I am actually solving for here. So let, and I'm solving for the mass, and I'm going to put a subscript C2H4O2, because that's the mass that I'm solving for. So let M be the mass okay, of these 12. I apologize, of C2H4O2. All right, so now I still have to check, okay, so that particular mass, what unit it's going to end up with, but I do see that in the question 
they are using grams. So remember that for kind of chemistry type questions with mass, we either have our mass in atomic mass units or in grams. But here they're using moles and they're also using grams per mole for the molar masses. So that's going to be my unit. All right, so now let's set up this question. So we have M, so C2H4O2, and that is equal to. So how do you use these givens in order to solve this? So what I always like to do is I will first always start with the given okay, that has the single unit. And in this case, okay, so that particular given is right here. So I have this okay, that they give me, okay, which is 12.5 moles of C7H6O3. Okay, so I'm going to write that down for myself. So I have 12.5, and this is moles of C7H6O3. And actually, I'll make this a little bit smaller here so that it gives me a, some space later on. And in chemical reactions, this is basically a proportion problem. And it's going to be just multiplications and divisions. There's going to be no additions or subtractions at all. And the units are going to guide me on what I have to do. So my final answer that I will get is supposed to be mass of this molecule right here. So that's what it's supposed to be. So I want my answer to be in grams of C2H4O2. Now, clearly that's not what I have with this first given. So now I'm going to use the other givens. Okay, so I'm going to multiply and I want to get rid of, okay, so what I like to do is I want to get rid of these moles of C7H6O3. So how do I get rid of it? Well, I can get rid of it by placing them in the denominator because then they will cancel each other off. So this will cancel the one on the numerator. But which given do I assign to that? Well, the only place that I see C7H6O3 is actually in my reaction here. So my reaction that they give me right here, that's the only place that I actually see that molecule. And that reaction actually tells me in the leading up of each of those molecules right in front, how many react with the others. So in this case, I have basically just one mole of this C7H6O3. So I will put one, okay, so the one is coming from right here. And now I have to put something in the numerator. Okay, so what do I do? what do I put in the actual numerator? Well, in the numerator, I will look at all the other givens. And I notice that in the other givens, they are using C2H4O2. So C2H4O2. So I'm going to try to find this okay, in this reaction, which is actually here at the end, right there. And I notice that it's only one. Again, that's right here. And it is still moles, except it is C2H4O2. So these now cancel. This one cancels with that one. And now I have used two of my givens. Now, by the way, once you use a given, you cannot use it again. So here is the last given. Okay, so it's this one right here. And so I continue multiplying. So now I want to get rid of this moles of C2H4O2. 
So I will put that at the bottom. So moles of C2H4. Let me shift this a little bit. O2. But you notice that I have that right there. That's moles of C2H4O2. So I write the one. Okay, so that's coming from there. And the one that joins it, so right here, the 60 grams will go on top. So that's 60 grams of C2H4O2. So these moles cancel. And notice that I am now left with the unit of grams of C2H4O2, which is exactly what I wanted. So I am done. Now I have to actually do the multiplication here. Okay, so I have so 12.5. So let me take out the calculator. I will do it all in one. So 12.5. Okay, so we're going to be multiplying everything on top. So times one. Okay, and times 60. Okay, so that equals 750. And then divided by, okay, so okay, it is divided by now the bottom. And in the bottom, so what I like to do is, although I am dividing by ones, okay, so it's going to be just one times one. Okay, so that's from right here, one times one. Notice I put it in brackets, and I encourage you to do that, okay, when you're dividing. And then, so that equals just 750. So this is 750, and it is grams of C2H4O2. Okay, and that would be my final answer here. Okay, so you can put your closing statement and just say that 750 okay, was the mass of okay, that C2H4O2 that was generated. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this useful.